Hey everyone, welcome back. And this is going to be a tutorial for Node.js Express MVC. So uh, this tutorial is a uh, is, is, uh, I, I would like to split it into episodes, and uh, gradually we will talk about the model view controller pattern and how we can implement this in Node.js, and also as the database for the model, we will be using MySQL database, and this tutorial is intended to the beginners who is new to Node.js and maybe know a little about Node.js or maybe wanted to switch from other languages to Node.js uh, to develop in MVC pattern um, so um, and this is the first episode so in this first episode I would like to talk about setting up the environment uh, though I'll not go ahead and install Node.js I think it is pretty easy and uh, you just need to install Node.js and NPM comes with the Node.js so you don't have to set up npm separately it is something that comes uh, that already with the node.js setup so yes and please try to use a version uh, node.js version 6 or greater than that and so I think I will just start um, so in this tutorial uh, in this episode in this very first episode basically we will set up the server install express and uh, talk a little about the server issues and things like that I think for beginners this is a very important episode so let's get started I will go ahead, go ahead and create a new directory and I'm gonna call it YouTube oops sorry alright so YouTube app Okay, and I will open this up with VS Code. Alright, so... So I'll open up the terminal here, and as it is a Node.js project, so we need to set up some of these... Uh, okay, so we're going to install Express Framework at first. Now, uh, before we do this, uh, we can install it using uh, by g cloning the Git repository or downloading it manually, but but there is a easier way to do that using and that is to use npm but before we wanted to use npm on a directory we need to initialize npm on that directory so uh, let's do this so we will simply type in npm and in it and dash y so if i hit enter it will automatically create the package JSON file and it will populate this data for us. We don't have to uh, manually insert all this data. Uh, for this dash Y flag, this information gets automatically populated. So I think it's something that maybe save three or five or six seconds uh, in our development. Who knows? All right, so next up. Uh, one more thing that we can also uh, we can also write here uh, yes and that will uh, do the exact same thing as it did for this uh, dash y flag however um, let's move on and as we have a package.json file and in the package.json file and uh, npm uh, keep tracks of all the uh, packages that we install for this uh, for this current project so uh, we will now install express framework now express framework is a, a pretty uh, powerful i guess i really don't know but it is pretty uh, popular in the node.js uh, in the node.js community and um, most of the frameworks basically built on top of the express framework so yep so let's install express framework now so npm install npm it's okay i think i should all right i believe now you better see this all right so npm install and Press and dash dash save. So uh, this dash dash save will uh, will add Express JS as a dependency in our package.json file, and which is very helpful. And do this. So I'm gonna hit enter, and it will download and install the Express JS framework, uh, the latest version of Express JS framework which is a stable right now at this moment so it's already 
installed and as you can see that in the dependency section we have this express framework dependency so next time you probably uh, get clone this from another computer and you just hit and it just uh, in, in this directory you just type in npm install it will automatically pull the express js and you don't have to uh, install it again and again on the same project and this is helpful right um, all right so as we have installed express.js i think and now we should um, write our very first hello world uh, application let's do this so i will go ahead and create a new uh, a file in the uh, in the directory where we are working right now so let's create a new index.js uh, file here in this directory. So call it index. Oops, index.js. And I'm gonna minimize the terminal here. And now we will write our Hello World application here, which will utilize the Express.js and its server. So let's do this. All right, so first of all, let's import express or let's just require express. So const express equal to require express. And then we will instantiate the express um, object in a new variable. We're going to call it app const app equal to express all right and then uh, we will define a very simple route that will uh, so let's say app dot get so it means that we are uh, listening to a get request and here we uh, here we are, uh, define the route for that and there's the home route and we write an um, a closer function and MS function and this is uh, it, it takes a few parameters in those request so this one stands for request and this one stands for response and and, and then we are going go, going to send a <coughs> send a hello world text with the response so response dot send say hello world <clears throat> so what happened is when we say when we hit this endpoint and with the get request when in this route uh, with the re response that it will uh, return it will uh, return with this hello world text and then app dot listen so I think this part is pretty self-explanatory as well so we just type in this. So what we're doing that we are uh, telling our JS to listen this server on 3000 port, and I will choose a different port basically, and 3200 port. And on the callback function, we will console log a simple message to make sure that our server is basically listening to the request. So console log. Oops. works okay so now let's uh, now let's start the server and I'll open up the terminal and ls and you can see that I have the index.js file here now what I have to do is type in node index.js and hit enter and you can see that it is showing works now let's uh, send a request to this. So I'll open up a browser and I will go ahead and go to localhost and uh, 3200 localhost and you can see that hello world it works basically right so this is pretty much our uh, hello world example in the node.js and, and now let's make some changes. And save it. Boom, boom. And uh, try to refresh this page. And you can see the changes are not here. 
So now let's try to stop this server by hitting command C and you can see that we have stopped the server and uh, if I now again start in that means we are restarting the server basically then I, I, I'm tapping again node and the index to JS and if I hit enter and I can see the same message works and if I now refresh you can see that I have the change so one more time test and I save this and I, if I refresh this and I can't see that change here but again if I restart this server then I can see the changes here so this is a huge pain while we develop like a big applications because we need to each time we make some changes we need to restart this server which is a huge pain and yes people made a great solution to these problems and one of them is to use the nodemon so if we use nodemon then we will uh, then we can just make changes in the file and it will automatically restart the server for us so behind the scene we are actually restarting the server but it will be happening automatically so we don't have to do this manually everything will be taken care of by the node.js or the nodemon package so I believe in the next video, I'll, in the next next episode basically, I will go ahead and install uh, Nodemon in this project. I will add some npm command so we, we, we can easily start the server from our project directory. And uh, as always, um, uh, so tomorrow I believe I will make the uh, episode number two and that, uh, that will be including how we can uh, um, add Nodemon in an express project as always follow me on Twitter at my uh, Twitter handle at RocketTG and you can also tweet your thoughts okay so that's all for it if it helps go ahead and subscribe to my channel for the future episodes if you don't want to miss them all right take care